Yo, what up, y'all? Um, today I want to show you a little quick starter guide from one of my favorite games, Marvel Heroes. Um, I know when I started this game, there was a lot going on, and I didn't know what to do. I had to search the internet a lot. Um, I know I, you know, coming from Diablo and other games, Path of Exile, I wanted to, to play it the most efficiently way as possible because um, that's what's fun to me. Um, and I think this is the way these games are designed. You know, they give you gated content. You got to progress through. And I was already starting, you know, a year behind when the game first released. So I, I felt that I catch up with other people. So I'm going to try to give you guys a little guide um, how I started off and what I've learned over the past year of playing uh, to get you to the end game as quick as you can and enjoy it along the way. Now, it all starts with your your first starter heroes. Um, I know when I, when I, a couple days before I was going to decide to play, I was researching what's the most strongest, you know, this, that, and the other. And I think and this is one of the circumstances where you kind of should just play your favorite Marvel hero, um, if you have one. Um, because this game is pretty much about leveling, like you probably might not main your your first character um you're constantly leveling up heroes um that's what this game's a big part of this game's about so if you don't like it um then you can just you know main another hero after you get some experience in it but um you know just put pick what pick one of your favorite characters if you want a quick rundown um the starter heroes are um <laughs> You got all the Avengers now, as of last week when Age of Ultron came out. Those are all starter heroes. You got Black Panther, Captain America, Black Widow, um, Punisher is a starter hero, um, Luke Cage, Human Torch, Colossus, Cyclops, Storm, Hawkeye, Rocket Raccoon, Daredevil, Thor, Hulk. Um, missing anybody? I'm probably missing somebody, but don't matter. Um, if you want a little, little OP list, you got Captain America is going to be your OP, Hulk's going to be OP, um, Iron Man is kind of mid-range, but he's 600, he's most valuable money currency-wise, so you might want to start off with him, and he's really fun to play, he's got some cool outfits. Um, you know, if you're just looking for OP, I would say go with Captain America or the Hulk, um, otherwise just, just play what you want. Um. So this is the area you'll start when you log in. Um, I do recommend that you, you know, do the story one run through at least once. Um, just like uh, Diablo, there's different uh, difficulty levels, but you just go through normal difficulty ones. The difficulty levels in this game aren't really that big of a deal yet. They haven't added any more challenges to it. Um, but if this isn't, if you've already done the story once. You just run back here they added this little thing go to avengers tower uh, avengers tower now 1 through 20 your main your main uh you're just trying to get to 20 that's your main concern um there's two ways i like to do it i like to go through either the shield hollow sim with a partner or a midtown patrol um either one you just grind it out Just grind it out um, until you hit 20. And the reason why you want to hit 20 is because at level 20, you open what you, up what you call legendary quest. And what legendary quests do is they grant you bonus XP, and ex um, bonus experience, and they give you these things called uh, Odin marks. And Odin marks is one of your two main uh, currencies you're going to be concerned with. Um, Odin marks, they buy you what are called blessings, and they also get your first legendary item, uh, trinket. Um, you can hit L, that'll open up your interface, and pick your legendary quest right here. Um, the ones that I like to shoot for are you want to do the Midtown, uh, Midtown, the challenge ones, or you want to do the terminal ones. I find the story ones are, uh, are to take longer than they should um, and even the some of the uh, terminal ones Kurt, take longer than they should like I skip game. Dr. Doom I skip uh, 
the AIM facility, I sometimes skip Hydra. Um, the rest I, I pretty much do. Alright, so then from there you're grinding out uh, legendary quests to, uh, to 60, basically. Now they do have these along the way when you're playing, they have these shared, what they're called shared quests. You hit, uh, I think Elegant to get your shared quests. And these give you a bonus chest, and the bonus chest rewards you extra Odin marks. Um, that you want to get in a little bit of extra XP. Um, also, when you, if you look at the terminal interface here, these little cube shard availability things, this means that you can do these once a day to get what's called a cube shard. And cube shards are going to be your main way to get boost. Um, and the way you get boosts are, go to hit I, go to your currency, see I got or something cube shards. Go up to here to this Clea, I sensed that you she sells, uh, the, sells, well, she sells cards, they're called fortune cards. Excuse, yeah. Brush it, buy some cards. These are not what you want to get, these artifacts, the see where it's, they give you visual orange flame, visual glowing particles, visual in blue mist, those aren't very great unless you want to add them to your costume. But you can get XP boost, um, special rare item find, this would count towards getting your artifacts, extra chance of getting artifacts, um, extra chance of info cover, just gear, cosmic gear, draw, oh and uniques. Any gear goes under uh, rare item find, RIF, R-I-F. Uh, your special item find, boost, but did I get one? Yeah, I got one. Um, the special item find, those cover your currencies. Your your splinters, um, splinters are what drops. They drop about every eight minutes. Um, those are what you buy uh, characters with uh, at random hero boxes. Um, well, you could you could buy just regular heroes, but it's it's wiser to buy a random hero box so you have about twenty heroes or so, and you get that over here at Adam Warlock. Um, you can buy team ups for splinters. Um, then you got heroes like Cable's four hundred, Black Widow's two hundred. But you want to the random hero boxes are are uh, one hundred and seventy five, and. Um, they have a chance to roll in a hero. Actually, I'm going to... I haven't bought one of them. i buy one. See what we get here. Oh, Spider-Man. I've already had Spider-Man, so that's a duplicate, but that's okay. Um, add that to his ultimate up. That'll give it to his ultimate. Um, when you get extra hero tokens, you add one to their ultimate, and their ultimate up to 20. Pretty cool. No. Now, when you're playing, you're going to find all this gear is going to drop. Um, random green junk. And what you're going to want to do is, you've got these two, you have two vendors that are really important. You have your crafter and your enchanter. You're going to want to do your crafter first. And you do your crafter by going up to him, hitting, finding the thing you want to donate, and hitting, uh, hitting alt. And that'll donate it to it. Fill up his bar. And for crafter, see... You want to do him first because he can add stuff to your costume. Uh, your costume's right here. You could add like uh, stats to it, um, visual artifacts, stuff like that. You can exchange um, your uniques for relics, um, all sorts of neat stuff you can do with it. So you want to get your crafter up first. And once your crafter's maxed, then you want to do your enchanter. Your enchanter is what's gonna you're gonna buy is you make your Fury Forged um, uh, item, or you could also do your blessings on your artifacts. Put a blessing in, pick your artifact, put your blessing in here, and it's going to charge you uh, 100 Odin Mark. That's for your Odin Mark. Um, and that's pretty much it. You just, you know, get to 60, see if you like the character. If not, buy some... Uh, 
I think you get 400 splinters now, so in the mean, on the way up, after you complete the story, get your splinters, come by a random hero box, unlock another hero, um, play it, see if you like it. Um, if you, you know, I think you get 400 now, so if you want to just buy a specific hero instead of gambling, if you have, like, you really want Captain America or Dead Bosses or Deadpool or whoever you want, um, you would just, you know, buy it straight up. But like I said, until you get about 20 heroes, random hero boxes are probably going to be your best way to go. Um, that's about it. Just get to, get to 60, have fun, um, and then when you get to 60, I'll, I'll make another video about the end game later.